Hi YouTube, it's Monday the 6th of August and I'm back with some more gaming pickups. Uh, the first bundle here was all for £15 off Leicester Market. Um, I've got four Xbox original games here and three PS2 games and a Dreamcast, contro Dreamcast controller. Um, as you can see this is a fishing rod controller and I intend to buy Sega Bass Fishing to try this out. You can see it's got quite a nice sound to it. Uh, you've got the anal analog stick there, X, A, B and Y and a start button, a little light at the top there and you've got a nice um, knob, for want for a better word, um, to hold there and the lead and the, the end, end connector. So that was um, released by Interact and it's called a Fission, Fission, Fission Controller. Can't get my words out today. So three PS2 games. Um, we've got Smuggler's Run. I remember playing this many years ago and really enjoying it. Um, and this is um, developed by Rockstar, AKA Grand Theft Auto fame. And this is one or two player game. You can play that split screen as you can just about see there. And that was released in 2000. Next you've got Future Armour. Um, very much enjoy the TV series of this so I thought I'd see how the, the game plays. This is a one player game. All these have got uh, the instructions and the discs are in good condition. Uh, next is Shinobi by uh, Sony Computer Entertainment and Sega. And this is a one player game, and that was released in 2002. Quite a nice artwork on the front. And next one to Xbox 360 games. Uh, we've got a second site here, and this is from the Radical, uh, the Free Radical Creators award winning Time Splitter series, and published by Codemasters, uh, uh, developed rather. And this is a one player game, and that was released in 2004. Uh, next, we've got a sealed one, which was quite nice, uh, never been opened. Uh, Disney's The Haunted Mansion TDK, and this is a one player game, and that was released in 2004. Uh, ne next, we've got one I've not seen before, uh, quite an interesting cover uh, Advent Rising by Majesco Entertainment. And that's a one player game, and that was released in 2005. And the last Xbox game is Raises Hell, uh, one I've not seen before as well, and again by Majesco Entertainment. And this is a one to two player game, and you can play that via split screen. And that was released in 2005. So the next pile, uh, we've got some more Xbox games, uh, three here, all from Game World now. Uh, the first one's Evil Dead, A Fistful of Boomstick. And this features a bonus making of video featuring uh, Bruce Campbell. And this was 3 99 developed by THQ. And this is a one player game, and this was released in 2003. Uh, next we've got the Dukes of Hazard: Return of the General Lee, two pound fifty, developed by Ubisoft. And as you can see, it's the original characters, not the new film one. This is a one to two player game, and that was released in two thousand and four. Uh, next we've got Project Snow, uh, Snowblind, and this is by Idos. This was just a pound. I think it's just released, uh, so reduced from about two pound, two, two or three pound. And this is a one player game, as you can see it's a first person shooter. And that was released in 2004. And last we've got a uh, Xbox 360 controller, uh, Batarang. And as you can see this is based around Batman Arkham City. 
Uh, this is 29.99 from HMV in Leicester. Quite nice packaging. And this features uh, rumble control, dual rumble, uh, glowing buttons, X, A, B and Y. And a chat headset port as you would expect with any Xbox 360 controller. And this also has um, seven built-in LED colours uh, to personalise your controller. A rubberized grip. And you can just about see there the start and select buttons at the top. Kind of like shaped as a bat. So I'll probably try and get that out later and show you it uh, working with all the flashing lights etc. And as you can see just at the back there it is a wired controller. So yep they're the, my gaming pickups for today. Um, hopefully I'll be back out again tomorrow to try and find some more bargains and interesting items. Um, thanks again for watching and if you've got any comments uh, leave them below. Thanks, bye.